All right, y'all, Leland TV, and I'm just gonna give you a walkthrough of my kayak setup, um, cause I got it out here. And so basically it's a Lifetime Tayoga, which is the newer form of the Lifetime Tamarack. And I just got it this year, uh, tracker supply. Uh, came to about 300, I got some, uh, some money off of it when I had gotten it. And of course, like, I've got some other accessories that I've put on it. Um, so yeah, I'll start in the front. And so I've got my dry bag up here, and I like to just, I like to just leave it um, in the front like that. And I don't really have anywhere else that I like to put it. I like to keep an eye on it, make sure that I still have it. Um, yeah, moving up, um, it's got these little. It's, internal storage things. I don't really use them for too much. I almost just kind of use them as a garbage can, really, to tell you the truth. Um, and then I've got um, a seat that I installed on this that I got at Walmart. It's a stadium seat. That's a pretty common upgrade for these. And you drill holes and you epoxy them down or silicone them or put some watertight stuff on them and you end up getting a pretty solid seat on there. It's better than what came with it. Um, and yeah, I just got a paddle that I got on Amazon and it's pretty good, you know, it was about $30. Um, I don't think I would get as cheap of a paddle next time. I would upgrade to something a lot better. Um, it's your, your drive, uh, you know, better paddle you get faster, more stable, you can have a better time. Um, so I've got uh, a bump board that I like to clip into place over here and I don't even know what those things are called, but um, I've got one of them. <laughs> and uh, the paddle, I forgot to mention, I've got a paddle leash on it. And moving over, I've got the standard milk crate for uh, that you know everybody puts on their lifetime tamaracks or tayogas and I keep a little tackle bin in the back here I put my water bottle in the back um, and I attach my wheels if I'm not gonna be close to my car when I load in right in the back here and I just attach them in with the, the bungees that come with the Tayoga and the bungees that I add on here. Uh, I just have one green one and I kind of just like fit everything into place and it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it does the job. I installed some rod holders on the side here. I don't know if you can see it. It already comes with two which is pretty good. But I do think I need to install some more. Um, yeah, it's a basic walk around of it. It's a really pretty kick-ass kayak. Um, it did come with a rod holder here. And I got rid of it just because I like having the, um, the room to be able to cast and the room to be able to play a fish or do whatever. Um, let's see. And then, yeah. Uh, something that's not really talked about a whole lot on other, like, Lifetime Tioga or Tamarack videos that I've seen is recommend just getting a little cinch strap type of thing, like how you put it on top of your car. Um, for attaching these wheels to the kayak. I've had the kayak come down uh, a handful of times off of the wheels just using this simple buckle system that comes with it and it's kind of a gamble and it's just it's not worth it. You could break your fishing poles, you could break the hull of the kayak. Really there's a lot that could go wrong from it dropping and hitting concrete or rocks or you know whatever it is underneath it. So. So yeah, my advice would be get one of these little cinch strappy things. Uh, it's got the little like cam buckle kind of thing. And that's really what you want. And you can really tighten it down on there. Um, 
I do have a net that I bring with me, and today I actually broke mine. So I'm gonna be getting a new net. Don't buy the Placino nets on Amazon um, that fold up and fold down. Not very good. But honestly, this is a really great kayak and I would recommend it to anybody. Um, yeah, really kick-ass day out here. Today's actually my birthday and I caught a couple pretty good bass and I'll put pictures of them right up here. And hell yeah. Yeah, just really loving it. This is uh, Mallet's Bay in Vermont. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't hit that like button, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Would really appreciate it. Thank you.